Hello guys and welcome back to Draw Killed. We're going to continue on here into night two. I don't know if you seem to like it, so when you like a game, I like to continue on into it. And I believe our first night was just sort of our introductory, you get to know them, they get to know you night. So I expect things to heat up for us here. I hope you all are having a pleasant Thursday. It is so hot out there. I am very glad to have a virtual office to be in. Ah, uh, now I remember. Little troll kills will be drawing up to kill me. No light tonight? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> complain and it shall be given to you. I'm still not sure if the key is literal or metaphorical. I think it's in the mini games and I just did not get to it. I am never good at these mini games in between. Just plunk me in front of a uh Okay. Camera and I should be okay. And I, I like that there's very little here. It's very minimalistic. And I might be playing this entirely wrong. Uh, but I'm just gonna watch those two doors. I only have so much power. I'm only gonna worry about two of them. I, I like that uh, sound effect. Sort of reminds me of the old kung fu movies I used to like. The really low budget ones that they would send over and the uh, translations would be ridiculous. They wouldn't even remotely match the mouth. <laughs> you know those ones? He'd get some Chinese and you'd, you'd settle in and watch them and they'd be absolutely ridiculous, but they were good fun. Okay, it's 1 a.m. Now remember, I told you that they are sneaky. These draw kills, these nightmares. They are taking on the form of the animatronics that we love because they are enjoying frightening us. So, um, we can assume they're going to do this because that's how they feed or such something yes hi oh hello pretty fox hello pretty hello so what am I doing Oh, pretty fox, pretty bird. Yeah, it, they're not that far apart, the two entrances. I'm assuming it's not beyond them to go from one to the other. Yeah. Yeah. If I ran around the hall and checking out the other entrance. Now the last time I opened the door right away and they were in like a lickety split. Okay, but I'm using a power, so... Am and I'm down to 50% power, so I'm gonna have to be careful. I think I see something in the vent. I'm not. Yeah, hi. <laughs> 
so yeah. He came to visit me. That was awfully sweet of him. He didn't have to. He really didn't. Okay. Okay, so that seems okay. So it seems like you can see them as well without raising cams, but cams are useful as well, because, uh... I wouldn't rely on, um, just... the good grace of the cams to... or the good grace of anything. Okay. But they are really active. See a little bunny. See a little something else. Oh, whoa. Did not see that one. Woo! Let's try that again. Whoa, that was just out of nowhere. That was right in my face. Let's continue. Woo! I had someone say they were surprised that I was the uh, one to play this. No, I, I love scary stuff. The higher the roller coaster, the more likely I used to be to go on it one time. Yep. Uh, when and This was when I was like teeny tiny, when I was like 10 or something. My dad used to uh, take me to various parks. And if I wanted the shirt for the um, roller coaster, I had to get on it. It didn't matter how fast it went or how high it was. And as long as I was, you know, as long as I was tall enough, they would let you on. I didn't care if you were a little girl. They make you go on. And it would be like the newest, fastest one in the park, too. And they didn't have the ones that you kids have today, but... I wouldn't have survived some of the ones you kids have today, but... Uh, back in our day, they were the biggest, fastest, tallest ones. They were cutting edge stuff. And my mom thought he was the meanest man in the world, but... Hey, it made me tougher. It it showed me I could survive stuff. He taught me the trick to survive it. That no matter how far, far the drop is, there is a trick to surviving it. It's not that bad. Which, since you are all nice people and tuning in, I will teach you. You just relax your stomach. Do not clench up your stomach muscles. Just relax your stomach. Don't clench up those muscles and you will be fine. The drop won't be as bad at all. Won't matter how far you fall or how fast you go, it won't be bad at all. You'll be fine. You'll just relax, you'll have a good time. You could like fall down ten roller coasters, you'd be okay. It works, it does. That's all it's their fly damn dragging me on all of them all those years. <laughs> and that's why I do in these games, instead of tensing up once I see it coming, as soon as I feel myself tense, I make myself relax. It's hard sometimes, but yeah, you have to make yourself relax. You can't tense up. Well, as soon as you feel yourself tense enough, just go, okay, relax. It's like the big drop when you're going down that first hill. And once you can relax through that first big drop, you're okay. The rest of the ride's fine. And you're giggling and laughing at everybody else on the ride's like, eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
<laughs> we were we were told she was a good mommy. She would adopt us. She she's got us abominations. No, uh -oh. one in the vent. Oh, they have abomination. Does she know how much more's hurt? Oh. oh. Words hurt. I hope you know that. They won't go away. Pawn Bond's gonna ride the door. Yeah, because the last time something got in. I know I'm wasting all sorts of power, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Whew! This is fun! I like things jumping in my office. Now you know that you are on the Crazy Host channel. Let's get back into this. This is fun, there's nothing to do, and then all of a sudden a heart attack's in your face. I really like this game, this is fun. Okay. When we know, we'll see something dark in there, kind of muddy-ish, and we'll see them- Oh yeah, the first ones that come, I'm not gonna see. I'm just gonna check that one, because I can never see them in that. This is definitely creepy. Midnight. One o'clock, the Fox Chica train should be coming by. I called them abominations. I don't think they're happy with me. <laughs> they're the draw kills. They took on the form of our beloved animatronics. And I call them abominations, and call each other. They're not happy with me. Just because I call them abominations. One a.m. Hmm. Couldn't tell you if there was something there. Okay. Strange. They're not running on schedule. I don't like this. 
Don't like this at all. Why are they not running on schedule? I sense so much fail in my future. Uh oh. Yeah, because it has occurred to me that they are smart enough to go. Yeah, hi! Hi, Foxy! Pretty boy. Oh, you're a pretty boy. Prettier when you're out there. Chica's with you! Two of you! Oh, that's nice. You can stay out there. Da, 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 da. Two of you. Oh, hi! Hi! What time is it? 2 a.m. Okay. Oh! Foxy went away. He probably trying to get in the side door. Okay, now they both went away. Move the doors up a little bit more. Okay. 2am. Okay, those are clear. <laughs> so much fill. Okay, guys, I am gonna leave it at that. Uh, but you can see so much fill. Oh god, this game is hard. Okay, that is draw kill night two. If you guys want me to keep trying to go on and try to get through uh, night two, I more than will. You know what? Let's let's go on one more time. Let's try it. Why not? We're all here. I know I'm okay till about 1 a.m. And I gotta remember, I got three cameras to check. A stupid uh, me, not anyone out there. <laughs> If I say stuff, by the way, making fun of anything, it's it's always directed towards myself, so just so you guys know. <laughs> it's always self-referential, it's not uh, towards anyone out there. So if I'm ever making fun of, um, like, fanfiction writers or something, that's self-referential. Uh, yeah. Back in the day, I used to write the war stuff. Don't go into that. Make your ears bleed. <laughs> so any stuff you've ever heard me refer to, it was my own writing. <laughs> hey, it, it, it was so bad it could make these things run away. Oh, wordy woo. And when people are in the throes of fandom, they think it's great, and they're like, Write more! Write more! And you agree with them. You're like, yeah, it's brilliant writing. I'm the greatest writer on Earth. No, it's, it's, it's not. Once you step away from the fandom and you look back, you're like, oh. Oh. I wrote that? I did? That was me? Yeah, yeah, that was me. I, I now just pretend it doesn't exist. If people favored it or ask me to continue it, I'm like, nope, wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm right. <laughs> it was nothing infinite, my dears. 
and I won't either. <laughs> Not one of those bottom fear riders. It would all be trash. <sighs> okay, but back to our game. What time is it? Okay, it's 1 a.m. The Chico Express is going to be coming through shortly. And I think I'll f see the Foxy Express slightly before her, but they might change it up on me. I am going to pass this night. I am going to pass this night. Yeah, 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 huh? It's occurred to me that they are sneaky enough to go around. And I'll just give them a couple of seconds to chill out there. I can just chill and hang out and... You know, I th okay, she's still there. <laughs> Give them a few more seconds. Make sure that make sure they don't change their mind. And you know, try something. Because uh, I've been getting Bunny and Foxy in the face when I am not careful. Okay. Okay, it's 3 a.m. Let's open the office door. Let's open the vent door for like count of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I saw. I saw. So, you almost tell you not there now. One, two, three, four, five. Give them time to clear out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It occurred to me they can't get in if they can't get in. <laughs> Yeah, she's back out there already. I can't raise the doors now. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in no hurry to raise the door. Okay, so she can stand out there for a while. Yeah, she's gonna stand out there and uh, pretend she doesn't exist. She's sneaky. I'll give her credit. She is sneaky. And they are scary. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, yeah. That 
wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. So much fail. So much fail. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, hello? Hello? <laughs> okay, so much fail. So much fail. So much fail. Repeated fail. Oh, so much fail. But if you guys like seeing me fail, <laughs> I will go in, guys, and I will do night two again. Uh, just haven't been feeling at the top of my game today. Uh, I was out in the heat, and uh, I think I got heat stroke or something. But um, I figured you guys would want to see something from Draw Kill. That is a really challenging game. I just kept getting closer and closer to the end of the night, and. Uh, they are very, very sneaky, so I'm just going to have to go in and try that one again if you guys like. And if you like the game, you'll find your link below, and this is Nightcat signing out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.